Hello everyone. My name is Amit Kumar. I work as a principal consultant at Simwell and today I want to talk about how we use any logic to create a flexible conveyor network. So this is uh, for a project that we did in India and I would like to show you the model uh, quickly. So basically we have a conveyor network. My input creates travel through this conveyor network and they could enter any one of the loops. On the sides, you can see the workstations. So each uh, loop can have multiple workstations. So if I run this, then you can see that the objects go and wait here at the station. They get processed. They might go to another stations and so on. The good part about the model is that we have created this for a design purposes. So, so a, a client is trying to design a new uh, layout, new network. And we have made this in a completely configurable way. So uh, you saw two loops being used, but you might as well increase this, uh, let's say, to three loops. And at each loop, we can decide how many layers do we want. So right now, first loop will have two layers. Second one will have one. Third one will, like, will again have two layers. And just as easy as that, now we see a different configuration entirely. Uh, you know, if we can, let's try with a single uh, loop. Maybe I'll put three layers or let's say four layers. So using any logics material handling library, it is possible to model uh, in such a flexible way. And this is especially useful for any kind of a design of a new layout that is being done. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.